ABC 15 News, taking action. I thought at first it was firecrackers. I'm like, oh my God, he's got a gun, and I'm going, get the gun! I told him that there was shootings to get the officers over here. A terrifying scene at a Valley Walmart. Shots fired, people running for cover, and two men left with bullet wounds. All of this unfolding at a Glendale Walmart near 95th Avenue in Camelback, and the gunmen are still on the run tonight. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius joins us with the latest in the investigation. Melissa? That's right. The Walmart is still closed. We have just heard from Glendale police that the two men who were shot will spend the night in the hospital. Meanwhile, we talked to two witnesses, a young couple with a baby who were just feet away when the gunfire erupted. In line to use a machine just inside Walmart's doors. At first we thought it was like a Joker firecracker. Reality struck Corey and Jennifer Kruger. The guys are on the floor and one got shot through the leg. I was screaming and he was like, my freaking daughter's right here. So close to the violence, the two targets, young men gunned down right next to them inside the store. The blood was too much for me. Corey says one of the victims also had a gun and waved it around and one shouted out. They, they shot me. I can't believe they shot me. Glendale police say they believe this is not random, that the shooter and the victims know each other somehow. It appears that the initial investigation shows that there was some sort of verbal altercation um, or at least acknowledgement of each other outside um, near the vehicle, the black sedan, and that it did lead inside the store. The victims went into the store with two female companions. Police now looking at security footage, trying to reconstruct how this went down. Investigators also searching for the shooter and the alleged accomplice who sped off in the black sedan. Without regard to anybody else that was in the parking lot or in the store, so we want people to be cautious. We're all good. That's all I'm thankful for is that my family is just safe. And there are still police officers here securing the store in the parking lot until it is turned back over to Walmart to reopen. They hope that'll be sometime tonight. We also have heard from Glendale police that they are working on getting security footage of the suspects in this case for us so we can show it to you. As soon as we get that, we will pass it along. Back to you. I know a lot of people will want to see that. Melissa, thank you. This is what drives.